Hey guys, Dennis here. I thought you might enjoy just a quick tour of my studio and where I do my creative work and do a lot of my writing. And uh, also to show you where we'll be shipping out the uh, signed prints of my, the original copy of You Are My All in All and who does the actual work and <laughs> a little bit more behind the scenes information for you. So let's take a quick tour of my studio and the barn and, and the offices of uh, Shepherd's Heart Music. How about that? Hey guys, Dennis here. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of my studio. It's in this barn. We bought the place, the barn was already here. We wanted it to be a place where our kids would wanna be and spend time. So, we're inside now. But we had basketball court. We had ping pong, we had a pool table, we had foosball, we had a, just, we wanted our kids to want to be here and we wanted their friends to want to be here. This is a door that became our guest book. You can see it's two doors hinged together that people signed whenever the kids would bring friends home or anyone would come to visit the studio. And then you look over here and many years ago, friend and his wife built this little studio for me in the corner of the barn and these are some of the framed albums of when I signed with Word Records way back in the 90s. These are just pictures and I'll show you these another day of just people I've met through the years that you might be familiar with. We come into my studio, let me turn on the lights. That's actually the piano that my parents but the year after my grandmother Jernigan died when I was 14 and they gave it to me on my birthday, Melinda and my daughter Galen have been creating a man cave for me out of my studio. Here's one end where I can just sit and talk with people and counsel or whatever I do. And then uh, up here you'll notice that there's a rock collection of rocks that I've collected since I was a little boy. And that's just part of them and their arrowheads and all kinds of stuff. I'm just giving you the brief overview. There's Zephaniah 317, somebody cross-stitched for me. There's my son Israel's Star Trek clock that he gave me to keep for him. And then let me turn on the light here. This is my actual studio. Just bear with me here. I'm gonna get the lights on. Uh, I've got guitars hanging everywhere, mementos hanging everywhere. I've got a little knife collection. My dad, every year for Christmas, would give me a knife. So I put those in the collection here on these on this wall. And then looking around the studio, I have different artwork on the wall. And this is the piano where I do a lot of my writing and composing and receiving. And here's my little corner where I sit most days. And uh, it's just one of my favorite places, the Melinda and Galen created this special place for me with a, a lamp and a place where I can just sit with my laptop and create all day long. And then you'll notice different knickknacks here on the wall that they've surrounded me with things that I love, uh, things that inspire my creativity. There's a dragon on a castle. I don't know if you can see that against the dark background. There's my award for being named to the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame. Uh, there, beside that horseshoe is the bit of a, from a bridle from the horse that my grandfather Jernigan rode in the U.S. Cavalry in World War One. It actually has the initials U.S. On, emblazoned on each side of that bit. Uh, leaving the studio here, we go over uh, again, just more little knickknacks that I've saved through the years. Mementos. I'm, I'm giving you a quick overview. I don't want to bore your time, bore bore you and. Um, wanted you to get to meet Trish and my mom. So we're walking out of the studio now, back out into the barn area. And you can tell the kids, the grandkids come out here and play a lot. There's Melinda's jewelry studio is right through there. This is where we handle a lot of the shipping. My mom handles the shipping. And speak of my mom, here she is. Say hi. hi. <laughs> this is my mom, Peggy. How long have you worked for me, mom? Oh, gosh. 
gosh. Too long. Too long. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good. My mom is the one who'll be doing all the shipping of the all in all print after I get them signed. So y'all get your orders in because we're going to be shipping those out after the 12th of September. We come through here and this is the main office for Shepherd's Heart Music. And this is Trish. They're so excited about me doing this impromptu. This is Trish Pfeiffer. She's my office manager. She makes everything flow together and happen. Basically keeps my life in order. How long have you worked for me, Trish? 23 years, At I think. least. <laughs> At least. I think 50. <laughs> <laughs> That's Trish. And she takes a lot of your phone calls, well, all your phone calls, and answers the questions I don't want to answer, basically. But this is where my mom will send out all the, all in all, framed originals that I've signed. and. Anyway, I just wanted y'all to see where it all happens, where the magic happens. And I wanted to thank Trish and my mom for doing all they did for me and show you off to the world. So, there. <laughs> Have anything to say for yourself? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now that I've caught them by surprise, I'll tell you more later about these guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> my mom said, oh goodness, she's trying to avoid the camera. Anyway, thanks for letting me do this, guys. Talk to you later. Anyway, that's a quick overview of my layout here. And uh, I'll tell you more about that in the days to come. And I'll show you more about my little studio and some of the things that we've got collected here through the years that are special to me for one reason or another. And I just wanted you to see where I do my stuff, where I do my creative work and meet some of the people I work with. And of course, you've already seen Melinda explaining when the day we found the all in all and the, the day it was written, the original manuscript. And I'll stop talking now because I feel like I'm boring you enough about that. Anyway, talk to you later. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little tour of the studio and the barn and getting to meet Trish and my mom. I know you've already met Melinda, but uh, they're the ones who keep the ball rolling around here. I'm just basically the creative department and I'm so grateful for that opportunity. And I'm so glad to be able to offer you a signed copy of the original manuscript of Your Mile and All. If you want to know more about how to do that, just go to patreon.com slash Dennis Jernigan for more information. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash Dennis Jernigan. You've got until September 12th to get in on that offer, so take, take advantage of it before it's too late. Thanks for going on the tour with me.